Welcome back. So now it's time to add music to our project. So I want to add music here in the title, uh, during the levels, and in the ending. Well, the best place to get music is going to be over on YouTube. I've mentioned before that if you've got a YouTube account, you can click on your icon and go to your creator studio, and then go to your audio library. So I recommend to search with attribution not required. So go ahead and pick three different sounds, download them, and then also some sound effects for hitting your sprites. You can go over there on sound effects. So get at least one sound effect of the sound of hitting your sprites, and then get three sounds for the music throughout the game. So I ended up getting these three sounds. So those are the three sounds I'll use. Uh, I'll do my title sound, my main game sound, my ending game sound. And then I also found a sound for when I hit my little critters. All right, so each of these sounds, I need to get them into my project. So in Adobe Animate, we can go to File, Import to Library, and I can select all of them at once, Shift-click them all, to add them. So now they're in my project. You can select them from your library and click play. All right, so in order for us for you, us to use these sounds, we're not going to use them by attaching them to a layer like we've done before. We're going to control them through ActionScript. In order for us to use them in ActionScript, we have to link them so that we can use them in ActionScript. Notice here something says linkage. So I'm going to start with my first sound. Like you mean it is the one I'm going to use first. So if I right click any sound, I go to properties. There's a panel here for ActionScript. From this action script panel, I will activate export for action script, export in frame one. And then this class is going to be sort of like the instance name. I need to add an instance name to this sound. So we'll say SND for sound title. I'll click update. And then OK. You may get a pop-up that says the definition has not been created. Just click OK. So now in our properties of the library, I see that that has an instance name, so to speak. I need to do that for my other sounds as well. March on. In my case, I'll do that as my main game sound. So I need to, once again, right-click my sound, properties, go to the action script panel, Turn on export for action script. Make sure it's on export in frame one, and then give this whatever instance name I want. Here I'll do SND for sound level one. Update and then OK. And every time it's going to pop up saying this class doesn't exist, just say great, don't show me that, I know. All right, that's got an instance name. Now I'll do Barlicious. That's the sound that'll play at the end, my ending scene. So again, right-click Barlicious, your sound, properties, action script, turn on export, name it what you want, SND end. Click OK. Because I turned on the check marker, it didn't bother me again. And finally, for the monster, <laughs> I want to right click it, properties, action script, export. This one I'll call SND hit. 
So step zero, import your sounds. Step one, give them all linkage, an instance name. Step three, we'll write our code. All right, so frame one, title scene. We imported some features to use touch. We then need to import some features for sound. So we'll say activate sound features import flash dot media dot sound capital D capital S semicolon import flash dot media dot sound channel capital C and import flash media dot sound mixer. So with these three imports, we're able to do various things with the sound. Okay, I'm going to make a note here that this is sound in our title start. And these uh, comments are optional, but they help me to look at my code at a glance. Okay, so I'll create a variable. SND title colon SND title equal to new SND title with parentheses. This looks redundant, but what we've got going on is, well, SND title is the instance name. We're also using it as the variable name. So we're creating a variable. It's of type SND title, and it's a new instance of that sound. Next, VAR SND title play colon sound channel equal to SND title dot play zero ten. Okay, so this first code here activate the sound file from the library to be used in action script and then start playing the selected sound and because we want to play the sound as we go to different parts of the game and we don't want the start the sound to start over we'll say keep track of where the sound currently is. So VAR SND title pause colon number zero. This is a variable that keeps track of the sound of where it's playing at. At this point that's enough to test it and start to hear my first sound. Oops, got to check my code here first. Let's see. Type was not found or was not a compiled constant. SND title. Let's see, did I spell it properly? Oh, okay, actually, here's, here's a little issue I forgot. Um, the variable name in this instance should not be the same as the type, the data type. So our data type is SND title. It's an object SND title, but the variable should not be called exactly the same. So we'll say SND title music. So therefore, next line, we're going to say SND title music play. 
make sure you fix it on both spots there. The variable name should not be the same as the instance name. So now I'll try that again. I'll test it. And there it is. So you should be hearing the music playing out of my device. Now the problem is, if I press home on the device, uh, the music is still playing, even though I've gotten away from the app. I have to force quit the app before the sound stops. That's one thing. The other thing was that uh, the music didn't start to play until a little too long. Well, that's here where we can set it. Uh, when do you want to start playing the music? I'm just going to put in here 5,000. This is saying start playing the music five seconds from the beginning. Some of you might need this if you've got a second or two of no sound before your music plays. In my case, I had like, I don't know, two seconds or one and a half seconds of silence. But now this will start right away, five seconds into the song. So you're going to have to play with it a little bit. Uh, I probably have like one and a half seconds before mine starts. So I have to play with that 1,500, one and a half seconds. So if you've got a little bit of empty space at the beginning of your sound, I notice that a lot on these YouTube sounds. They have a little bit of empty sound at the beginning. So you'll have to figure out at what point do you start playing your sound. So I probably need a little bit more time on mine. I still feel it's a little more time. So oh, 2,000 is probably fine. But moving on, uh, the sound now is playing. I've set up the ability to play the sound on this first line. I've started to play the sound two seconds in. Oh, the second variable here is loop that sound 10 times, which is plenty. And then here we're going to keep track of at what position is our sound. Well, you might have noticed that if you do exit your game, the sound will keep playing on the device. We need to fix that then. So unintuitively we'll say sound mixer dot stop all so we'll say after setting up our sound in a basic method we then stop it to play it better so that SND title music dot play is a basic way. It's not the best way because we need to take into account when we exit the game or pause the game and so forth. That's coming up next right here. Native application dot native application dot add event listener. Parentheses, curly brace. So this first part looks familiar. This is when we wanted to quit the app. Now we're going to keep track of, have we paused the app? Have we gone to the home of the device? And have, have we come back? So we're going to say event.activate. When the app is activated, comma, play a function, fn play title music when the app is is launched play the music so we need to define that function open close colon void curly braces this is the end of our title play music and so what we have here is SND title play is equal to SND title 
music dot play instead of 2000 or a value or whatever it's going to be snd title pause comma 10 so this looks this line looks almost exactly the same as this line up here except we don't say the var part because we're not defining the variable we're we're redefining it so we're saying when the app loads, start playing. We'll say when it lo when it loads or activates, start playing the title music from the last position. That's what title pause is keeping track of. Well, in order for us to keep track of it, title pause is going to be set when we exit the app. So after this, we'll have again this whole native application, et cetera, et cetera, which I'll copy. But we're going to change instead of activate, deactivate, which will run function play title music, function stop title music. We've got an event listener waiting for the app to be deactivated, and that's when you uh, pause the game to go check your your phone or your text messages or whatever. It's going to deactivate. So we need to keep track of at what point was the music at. So SND title pause equal to SND title play dot position we can check at what millisecond is our SND title play currently playing at I then want to sound mixer dot stop all and return SND title pause. So this one here activates or, or runs when we exit the app. It'll keep track of what's the current play position, stop the music, and return that number. When we then return to the app, this will kick in. It'll start playing the music again from when we paused it. Now one little thing, we had it set to zero first, which in my particular sound is not great because there's like a two second pause before the music starts, which I have up here. I'm trying to compensate for it. So in my case, this will be better to start at 2000. Skip the first two seconds. Well then, based on when we exit or start the app, the music will then start or stop. So I'll test that again. Whoops, I did a misspelling here. I was spelling void the French way or something. So you probably caught it and I didn't. Void. And another thing, return value must, must be undefined. Okay, uh, that's because if we're returning a value, this value, SND title pause, is right here, which comes from up here, which is a number. But we've said this function is going to return void, nothing. Whoops, actually we're going to have it return a number because that's what we're saying here. Return this variable, which is a number. So that's the error it was giving me there. This function must return undefined or nothing, void. That was wrong. We're trying to return a number, so we need to return a number. 
Oh, before I test it, uh, here's a couple of things that are easy to mix. Uh, function play title definition is here, and function stop title music is here. Uh, forgot to put inside of the parentheses that there is an event of event, capital E, and same thing here, event of event, capital E. So now I'll test it, and I expect that the music plays when the app starts. If I then click the home button to pause the app, the music should stop. And when I come back to the app, it should keep playing from the last point. All right, so you, you hear the music play right away when the game loads. I'm going to press the home button. OK, so the music stopped. If I go back to the game, it's still currently in memory. If I switch back to the game, you see it started back at the exact moment that the sound stopped. So again, I pause it there. I go back to the game. All right, so the music is playing during the title screen. If I go to the help screen, I then need to go back to the uh, title screen and I need to play the music again. So I need to take the code where we set our position. So sound, title, pause, I need to copy that so that we keep track of where the sound currently is at. Switch over to the help screen, and then in our function to go back home, we will add, check what the current sound position is. Back to title, and then we will play the sound based on what that position is. So I'm copying that from the activate and pasting it there. So when I want to go back home from the help screen, if I don't have this, the sound will suddenly disappear. So in addition to going back home from the help screen, restart the music. Let me test it. So the music starts. I go to help. I'm at help. I click home. Music starts over on the home screen. Without that, the music was, uh, was just completely cut out. Next up, I want to click start to start playing the game. And during the boss and the the bad guys, I want my other sound. And then another sound on Game Over. OK, so for my level 1 sound, I have that uh, linkage there. And uh, I'll go over to level 1. At the top, so where I had the stop instead, that'll be sound mixer dot stop all that way any previous sounds that were playing stop instead I want to set up sounds for this scene SND level one music colon SND level one is equal to new SND level one parentheses. That looks exactly the same as the previous basic sound setup. We have the variable name, the linkage or instance name, new instance of that class, that object. So then I need the play sound channel and then it's pause.
So VAR, S and D, level 1. Again, be careful, that's an L and then a 1. Play, colon, sound channel. S and D, level 1, music, dot, play. At position 0, which I'll probably have to change based on my particular sound. I think this one also has like a 2 second emptiness at the beginning. Play 10 times. And we're going to keep track of S and D level 1. Pause. Where is it being paused? It's a number. And that's equal to, at the starting point here, 2,000. So at the very least, I'm going to test this to see if this new sound starts playing on my level 1. Then I need to set up those event handlers to also listen for when is the game paused and resumed and such. So I get the title music playing. I'll click Start. I get my next sound playing. Start over doesn't quite help. But there's the game starting. So I think two seconds is too long. I can try to fix that over here. So title, um, let's see, that one starts. Maybe after. No, actually, it starts correctly. Yeah, two, 2,000. OK, so my music is playing now. And I'll need those um, activate and deactivate event listeners as before, so I can just copy them. So I need all of this same native app activate native app deactivate. I'm going to need that completely, but I'm going to change it, of course. So then to level one, I'll paste it right after this starting music. And what I need to change is, well, it's no longer FN play title music. It's FN play level one music. So therefore, I need to define my function here as play level one music. And when the game deactivates, it's function stop level one music. And I define the function here. OK, furthermore, it's not sound title play. It's sound level one play and it's not sound title music dot play it's sound level one music dot play based on sound pause sound level one pause so this is an instance of was it faster to copy and paste or just to type it over i still think it's it's still faster to copy and paste because you have to retype native application dot blah 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 all right, so here, same sort of thing. It's not sound title play anymore. It's sound level one, pause. Comes from sound level one, play. We do stop all the sound when we exit that part of the game. And uh, then that returns sound level one pause okay, i'm going to test it now uh, before i test it actually uh, i want to set the timer for my game to longer i'm going to set it to 33 seconds just to make it super obvious the the it's three seconds is barely enough time to test the music at this point so I'm going to set the timer limit to 33 seconds here so that I can really test if the sound is working properly. Giving me more time will let me confirm that my music is properly set up. 
So my main title music is playing, I click start. The new music starts, I have a timer of 33 seconds. So I'll be able to hear the music more. The idea then is if I click home button, the music pauses and if I return to the app, it's at that point. So as you test it, you'll hear the different sounds, but there's a little bug when you pause the app and return to the game in the middle of the level one, the title music starts to play again. So that's an easy fix. Inside of the activate event handler, the function definition, we will then also say SND title play dot stop. We can say make sure the title music is not playing. So when you test that and you pause the app and return to the app, it should not play the title. It should only play the level one music. All right, so I'm going to use the same music for the boss as level one. But now what I want to happen is when we get killed or when we kill the boss to then play some new music in the end scene. We'll go to frame one. This is the part where we deal with did we kill the boss or not. So not only did we defeat the boss, we've moved on to the good ending. This is the part where we'll have also to stop the music. First we'll say stop the music, so sound mixer dot stop all. Then I need the event handlers to pay attention to pausing or playing the level one music. So going back to level one, I'm going to need this activate and deactivate handlers. only the handlers because the function's already defined. So now we're saying if we hit the boss enough times, stop the music to prepare us for the scene to end and have the event listeners in case a person exits the game and restarts pauses the game and restarts. And lastly, it's time to set the good ending and bad ending sounds. That's going to be very similar to our setup for level one, in which we need to stop any previous sounds, just in case, set up some variables, set up these event handlers. This is a case where I'll copy all of that, because that'll give me a good starting point. I will need to change several things but it won't be so bad. So I'll go to scene two end, frame one, the good ending. I'll set this up at the very beginning. So I'm copying this. I need the stop all sound just in case we got to the scene and the music didn't stop, but then we're gonna need to change these variables. So it's no longer SND level one. I'm gonna have then SND end. So SND end music, which is in an object of SND end, which is a new instance of SND end, SND end play variable will then start to play the sound SND end music. And again, do I need two seconds here? Let me confirm. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Looks like it takes three whole seconds or so before that sound even starts to place so when my case 3,000. 
the pause is 3,000, and it's SND end pause. So then it's a matter of changing these things. Function play end music. So the function will be play end music. Stop end music. And we define it here, stop end music. To be safe, we had uh, stop the, the title play music just in case. And then also we'll do just in case set SND level one play stop. SND end play is based on SND end music dot play based on the pause end the s n d and pause comes from the end play position stop all music and then return the value of s n d end pause OK, so all of that is setting up playing my music when I reach the good ending. I'm going to do a quick test of it to see if it behaves how I expect. So I hear my main music. I hear my level one music. And I still have it for 33 seconds. So it's going to be a while. I'm going to collect a bunch of points to play with it. I'm going to pause the game, return to the game. Music still plays properly, very good. Got uh, 10 more seconds till I reach the boss. I'm going to tap the boss enough times to kill it to go to the good ending. Here we go, four, three, two, one, here comes the boss. All right, so I'm at the game over screen with the you win good ending the other song is playing great if i pause the game the music pauses if i return to the game the music is playing properly if i start over i'm going to need to set the music to start to play properly in a moment i press start to play the level. Sorry again, I've got to wait 33 seconds. This time I'll let the boss get me. It goes to game over. If I pause the game and I return to it, the music continues to play. If I quit the game, it'll quit, of course, but I want to fix start over. When I click start over to go back to the title screen, it doesn't start over, so let's fix that. Okay, so we need to start playing the title music again. Game start over needs the code to start playing the title music again. I can get that back from frame one. Based on the position, play it again. So. We've got it. We're going to need two things. We're going to need position, and we're going to need to play the title. So here's a quick tip. I need to copy a couple of things, a couple of separate things from this frame. So I can copy that and paste it here temporarily, and then copy this and paste it here temporarily select both and cut them. See, it might have been more hassle to copy this first part, paste it back to the other frame, then return, copy this, and then paste it back to the other frame. I put them together, consolidated them, so I can copy them both, go back here, and then set ourselves up to play the music again. 
So after we return back to the title, replay the, the music. Now I'm going to test it again, but I'm going to put the timer for this back to a short amount of time to fully test it. And again, I'm going to try the same thing where first I'm going to get the good ending and then I'll restart, see if the music starts over, and then I'll try the bad ending. So title music plays, level one plays, three seconds, here comes the boss. I kill the boss, I went to the good ending, good ending music plays, start over. Title music plays. If I pause here, restart, it's playing the ending music. See that it's playing the ending music. So to fix that, we need one more thing in the ending. When we restart, we're saying take us back to the beginning. But now we, we no longer need the, the event listeners for the ending here. I don't need these event listeners for when the music stops or ends. So I'm going to copy and paste, and then also the stop. But instead of these being add event listeners, it's going to be remove event listener. We're leaving the ending screen, so therefore I don't need to pay attention to does the pause music stop or end? Does the ending music continue to play or not? All right, title music, start level one, hit a few guys, kill the boss. Game over music, I win, start over. Title music plays, pause the game, return. Start the game. Lastly, let's do the sound for hitting the creatures, the sprites. It's going to be very similar to what we've done before, but now in the instance of hitting the creature. So we've got, in my case, SND hit. I will go over to level one. We've got our section of sound. Now I'll set up sound for the sprite. Var SND sprite colon SND hit. That's the instance name. New SND hit instance. All right, var SND sprite play colon sound channel. This is different than the previous where we don't actually play it right away. We had a sound channel object and then we played it. We don't have to play it yet. I'm going to copy both of these for the moment so I don't forget about them. This sets up the variables, but then to actually play the sound, it's way down here when we have our function when we actually hit a ghost. So here we go, function hit MC ghost one. I'll paste what I copied here. I've got to change it, however. I just wanted to bring it with me. Uh, I need SND sprite play equal to SND sprite dot play. 
and I don't need to do anything special about at what milliseconds, how many loops. So wherever I want that sound effect, I copy that line. I'm going to add it also to the other sprite, the demon. Same sound. And I want that on the boss. They'll all make the same sound. Every time I hit the boss, play the same sound. So I'm going to change this back to giving me a little bit more time. Let's say 10 seconds. I'll test it, tap some of these, see if I hear the sound. Title music, level one music, 10 seconds. There's the sound there, the boss. There you go, I'm hitting the I'm hitting the the creatures and they play sounds too. So this video was about adding sound to the game. You'll need to add your own cool sounds based on this code here. So I'm going to put the code in Canvas so that you can compare my code with your code, make sure it all works. And then you have to add your particular graphics and sound to make your game and turn it in by the deadline. If you have questions, don't forget to email me or get some help during the lab time.